Hi guys. Right, I want to do a quick video. As the title suggests, 11 billion pounds of your money is going to be spent to save you money. This is why you shouldn't trust government. Right. The rollout of electricity smart meters was announced on Friday the 20th of July by the government saying it's going to cost 11 billion pounds to update the remaining uh, households that don't have smart meters. Now, <clears throat> to keep the maths as simple as possible, it's very difficult to find out the exact information with regards to how many housing, households in the UK already have smart meters, because this rollout includes small businesses as well. So what we're going to do is just not go into the small business thing because there's just not enough precise information about that. So we're going to stick with households. Now in the UK there's 27.2 million households in the United Kingdom. Now to roll out smart meters, um, the ones that have already been installed, there's figures vary between 8, 9 to 11 million already have these smart meters but those figures include small businesses and there's no way of extrapolating the small businesses from the households. So we're going to take just a basic figure which is going to be, we'll, we'll estimate that 10 million households already have smart meters. Right? That leaves 17.2 million homes that don't have smart meters. Now, these smart meters are going to be based on a figure, a 2017 figure, of the average electricity household bill was £551 in the UK based on a 3,800 kilowatt hour usage. All right. Now, if having a smart meter fitted to your home saved you 10% on your electric bill every year, which it won't, but we'll come to that later. Even if it did, Trust me, the electricity companies would be all over the government lobbying their arse. Because there is no way the electricity companies would want their profits slashed by 10%. So let's just get into the basic figures. This is where it doesn't work out. And this is whenever the government says that they're doing something for your benefit, treat them as a lying fuckwit because that's what they are so if they're on out take off the 10 million people who've already got smart meters fitted there's now 17.2 million households to have smart meters fitted the government has estimated the cost of these smart meters being fitted as 11 billion pounds right that means it will cost 640 pounds per household to have these meters fitted Right, if it did save you 10% on your bill, your electricity bill, it would account for £55 a year saved on your electricity bill. Take into account the expenditure. Now, expenditure is £11 billion, so it's now £640 to have that meter fitted to your home, but you're only going to save £55 a year on your electricity bill which is going to mean it will take for every taxpayer to make the saving just to recoup the cost of putting those electricity meters in it will take 11 and a half years before you receive any savings whatsoever that's just to reap you know in those savings alone to get back the 11 billion pounds that they're spending on it will take 11 and a half years. Right. Now I've, when this announcement came out, I checked on the, the BBC News, I checked ITV News, I checked Channel 4 News, I checked Sky News, they're all running the same story. I've checked The Guardian, The Independent, and other halfway reputable uh, news agencies and newspapers that have carried this story and they're all missing one problem and it's a fucking major problem right 
and I'm going to bring it to you now. The average price increase in 2017 electricity bills between the 27 different electricity suppliers in the country were between 8% was the lowest increase in electricity bills and 15% was the highest increase in electricity bills. No, com no company cut their electricity bills. Every one of them went up. The smallest increase was 8%, the largest increase being 15%. Now it was too complicated to go through and get an average, so dividing all those percentages by the 27 different companies. Um, so what I've done is to give the government the benefit of the doubt, I have taken the smallest increase, i.e. 8%, yeah, as an average for this whole calculation. <clears throat> the reason I've done that was because because I, I, I like I say I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Right? So so the, if the smallest average increase in 2017 was 8%, and the government will try and say they're going to save you 10% of your electricity. None of these news stories, none of the news media said anything about factoring the increase in electricity prices, which has only gone up every year, as anybody who's got an electric bill can attest to. And I've researched that, and yes, they have gone up every year, year on year. So, if you add in the 8% increase year on year, that's not factored into the figures that the government are giving you, or the newspapers, or the TV, right? You take that 8% increase into the 10% effective cut in your electricity bill, you're only actually gonna save 2%. Now a 2% cut in your electricity bill is gonna to equate to 11 pounds a year. Now, for the UK consumer of the 17,200,000 households that are about to get their electricity meters, smart meters fitted, if you save 10% on your electric bill but they increase it by 8% every year, you're only going to save 2%. And 2% means £11 a year, which means it's going to take 59 years for the taxpayer to see the £11 billion that was already spent by the government to save you money on your electric bill. 59 years to reap the rewards and there's the government helping you. And if you want to know what the, the government's agenda is, the government's agenda is Agenda 21. Um, this was brought up in the Brazilian uh, G20 I think it was if I remember correctly. Um, Agenda 21, look it up online. If you want to look up something else online, look up David Icke's video, which he does, and it's called David Icke Agenda 21. It's about an hour and 35 minutes long. So look out for that timestamp and you'll know it's the right one. You'll see it on his, on his channel. It comes up, David Icke Agenda 21, the background's in blue. You'll see it. And he actually ties in not only all the dots to this story, but he also ties in where these smart meters come in to the whole equation. So the government's going to spend 11 billion pounds of your money to save you effectively 2% on your electric bill. So by the time we as consumers reap the benefits of those discounts, we'll take 59 years for us to recoup 11 billion pounds. If you want to know how all that ties in, look up Agenda 21. And if you want to look up uh, the David Icke video, it's David Icke Agenda 21 on his YouTube channel. And, uh, and you can figure it out for yourselves. Um, remember, government is two words, not one word. It's govern and mente. Two words. Take care, guys.